Hello YouTube, today we have a learning board of BLDC controllers. Because I have a lot of questions from my audience about how to connect peripherals to the controller, I made a table in which I will show more briefly how to connect electronic peripherals such as battery, throttle, e-brake, lights and more. Also, anyone who has any question about the controllers or wants to do some serious experiment can write me on comments for the experiment which he wants to do on the board. Now let's see the four main parts of the table. The first peripheral part is our 60 volt lithium battery pack, which is 4P and 16S. That is four batteries in parallel and 16 in series. The second component is a controller, which is operated also with uh, 60 volt and uh, 35 amps, which is limit output, not rated. The third component is a hub motor, 72 volt, 3000 watt normal rate, and max output 6000 watt. And the last one is this control panel, which contains of some push buttons, switches, and LED light, which we will operate the controller. Now let's start making the first connections, which start from the battery. As you can see, the battery is already connected with a 4 mm thick cable that can hold current over than 40 amps. This is why the fuse is 40 amps, as not to exceed the cable current limit. And note that the fuse is fitted to protect the cable and battery from short circuit or overcurrent. And finally ends in our controller. Next is the motor wire. Motor cables are divided into two types. Power three phase cables through which power passes from the controller to the motor and thin 5 sensor wire of which 2 is for power supply and the other 3 is output signal. These signal wires help the controller to see exactly where the rotor located. And now let's connect the basic wires of the controller. The first and most basic cable to be able to operate the controller is the ignition wire, or starter. So this wire must be connected to the positive terminal of the battery. We do this to activate the controller. For easy control of the BLDC controller, we need to pass the signal through a switch. Now, let's connect the throttle wires to the electronic throttle. The throttle has an electronic component, which is called Hall Effect Sensor. It operates with a 5 volt input voltage supplied by the controller. Ground cable and the green cable, which is signal, is the analog signal output from 0.8 to 5 volts. So when the output is 5 volts, we know we have the maximum signal from the throttle.
Now let's connect a similar peripheral component which is variable resistor and see the difference in operation. The connection differences are the signal always enters to the middle terminal and the power supply to the side terminals without polarity. One thing to watch out with variable resistance is when you have a value in the output, for example, it is turned about 50% and when you open the controller, for safety reasons, the motor will not run. The only way is to go to 0% and then return it for a higher output value. So the next peripheral is the electronic brake grip. The electronic brake has a switch with normally open contact. When the switch is activated, it passes a signal inside and goes to the controller and activates the function of converting the motor to generator and charge our batteries. Instead of electronic brake, we can also connect a simple switch. And the last connection is the 3-speed cables. 